Well, hello everyone, I'm Darth Browner, and welcome to the very first part of my Banjo-Kazooie playthrough. Now, the reason why I'm doing this game is to celebrate Rare's um, 35th anniversary um, of being a game company, basically. And this is one of my very, very, very favourite Rare games of all time. So I thought this seems fitting as a tribute to Rare to do a Let's Play on one of the best ever games. Anyway, I'll shut up for now and let you guys watch the funky intro. Now we have the really cool menu. I'm playing the Xbox 360 version of the game as opposed to the N64 version because I think this is probably the better version, I would say. It's sharper and easier to get hold of as well. Oh, I love the Game Boy homage. I'm glad that was kept in there because even though Rare was bought by Microsoft, I'm really glad they kept that. Anyway. As if that's not ominous. The, the windy stairs we go. Oh my god! It's a member of Loose Woman! I mean, they are all pretty much witches anyway, so please forgive me for getting old. Grunthilda mistaken for a member of said Loose Women. For those of you who don't know, it's a really, really annoying show on ITV. But I digress. Whichever plan she's planning, we will have to try and thwart her. Pun most certainly intended. That poor cauldron's getting so much shit. Oh, and there's little Tootie frolicking away without a care in the world, and yet that full shuddering and that tower in the background. Oh, what are you going to do today? Oh, bottles. Oh, an adventure. How cool. Just so you guys know, I love Kazooie. One of my favourite characters. So bears can fly now, can they? Jeez Louise. Run, little girl. <laughs> I love that line. Oh, 
I love how Kazooie is just in the butt park. <laughs> that portrait of Banjo, that world is nowhere in the game. In fact, it's believed it was from Fungus Forest, which is a cut world from Banjo Kazooie, which made its way into Donkey Kong 64. Bit of trivia for you there. Well, way to introduce yourself. I'm bald. I'm a short sighted mole. Way to pick yourself up. <laughs> Kazooie's insults are just priceless. I think we're good. Later that day, it's time we, after we learnt the moves, it's time we ascend the infamous mountain. Up to the witch's lair. Oh, that's good of you, bottle boy. No, I shouldn't have fallen. That was a cock up on my part. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Grunty can barely fit in the <laughs> machine. Easiest jiggy ever. Do you think the uh, Gruntilda theme sounds very familiar? Teddy bear's picnic by any chance? That's what I thought when I first played it. Quite a catchy theme as well. Mind you, the music in this game is phenomenal. Our oh, first world is a lot. Woohoo! Restrict it towards me and my puns. Okay, let's do this. Mumbo's Mountain is the easiest level in the entire game, fitting considering it's the first world and everything. And it effectively goes over the basics. I remember quite a bit of this from when I played it as a kid. Did anyone play Banjo 2, the sequel to this? I really enjoyed it. It's a lot more open worldy, I would say, and the levels are a lot more connected. 
Whereas a lot of the levels are more standalone in on this version. And in Banjo Tui it's like twice the size, if not bigger. But I enjoyed it. I know most people have quite mixed feelings about it, but I really enjoyed it. Well, I'd love to see a remake of this game one day. Or better still, Rare, if you're watching this, can we have a Banjo Free A? So I don't count nuts and bolts, I'm afraid, but a sequel to this, or Banjo 2 it will be amazing. I mean, you consider a lot of the 3D platformers have come back into prominence. I think A Hat in Time and Ukulele have proven that there's still support for it. It's a genre that is quite exciting. And over there we've got Tyler Tasmanian Tiger, that got re-released, and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. So what are you going to do then? What are you going to teach us, Bottles? Get used to it, Nesca. <laughs> Brilliant. You just got owned. Kazumi, you got owned. Yeah, ten jiggies on each world. Collecting all the Jinjos is always one of them. Think of them as like collecting the red coins in Super Mario 64. But obviously, so red coins is cute little things, basically. Okay, then let's have a little bit of a walk around. Right, we'll get you later on. You need to fight eggs into that. Anyway, we've got our next move, which is going to be quite handy. Talent shot is so useful, it really, really is. As proven, we're going up this slope. Be careful you don't fall, like I just did. And there's a ginger at the end, which we are going to get. It. Come on. It does take me, it has taken me a while to get used to the controls again. But I'll get there. Yeah, we're not going to break a note door yet. Not just yet, it's a bit too early for my liking. Oh, you're a demanding little monkey. There's monkey business afoot when it comes to Conga though. So he's there throwing oranges at you. Well, surely it's best not to throw oranges at all, Pop it, and then that way I won't have to stand on your switches. Well, that's another one done. Let's get an orange and give it to old Chimpy. And you can shut it, Conga. Well, even the oranges have eyes. What the hell? I wouldn't want to eat it now. Yeah, you're orange with eyes. Oh, that's another jiggy acquired. Oh, in the beta version of Banjo Kazooie that was released at E3 in '97. Those eggs made a really irritating, nasally type noise. Oh, 
Oi, balls, I'll do the penance run here. Oh, I think it's the top of the power energy. That's all the moves learned. Right then, let's uh, deal with this giant overgrown ape. Yeah, I'm not going to be moved that easily. Easiest boss battle ever. That's another jiggy acquired, only two more to go. We need to visit old Mumbo Jumbo, he's the magical shaman that had his head turned into a skull by Gruntilda. Lovely lady. This termite allows me to enter the termite mound. I get an extra life. Oh, what's at the top is what I think it is. It is a jiggy. We got our last jiggy. We have been getting some off camera as well. But victory is ours. We've finally done it. to change back I think but of course that brings us to what I would call the end of today's video this has been Darth Browner thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button We'll see you all in the next video where we're going to tackle the second level, Treasure Trove Cove. Ciao for now, everyone. Bye.